Good day everyone. Welcome to College of Sciences, Technology and Communication Incorporated. Today, I'm so excited to present our campus learning management system and give you a head start in using this LMS for your online learning. I am Sir Reyes. Let's get started. We are using Neo LMS, a multi-platform learning management system with an intuitive design that makes learning an enjoyable experience. It is a multi-platform, meaning it will work well on your desktop, laptop, tablet, Android and Apple devices, even in any other operating system. What are the benefits for you? So every module will be uploaded on our LMS. This means you have 24-7 access to your learning materials. You can monitor your class progress and performance. And despite our current situation, using our LMS, you can collaborate with your classmates virtually to work on the same project. On your first login to your LMS, you will be asked to accept our school e-learning code of conduct. Please read and understand everything listed on the page. Please do remember that you are bound by these terms and conditions and to all applicable laws and regulations. Before we continue, please watch our LMS ABP for this school year, highlighting several features that we added to make your online learning effective and enjoyable. Let's watch this. We are ready and we are resilient. So, sana na excited kayo sa school year na to. So, we have prepared everything. Na adjust namin yung kailangan niya just sa system. And you you also have an app for this. So, pwede kayo magdownload if you have Android or Apple devices. So, pwede kayo magdownload ng ating LMS app na pwede yung magamit. It even have um, offline mode. So kahit wala kayong internet access, you can view your learning content. So makakapag-aral kayo kahit hindi kayo gumagamit ng data sa inyong mobile. So that is very useful. So pinaghandaan namin lahat. And tulad ng taglay natin, we are statisticians, we are ready, we are resilient. Now for your questions, how to use LMS, how to log in, how to enroll in a class, I have three simple steps to get you started. So first, you'll be needing your LMS account. So you need to ask your department head or your dean or class advisor about your LMS account information. You will be using your student ID number that's written on your registration form as your LMS user ID. So, ito ang example ng LMS account. So, the user ID, the first four digit ay year kung kailan kayo nag-enroll. 
and the last four digits are yung inyong student number. So you also have the default password. So again, politely ask your department head, class professors or class advisors regarding your LMS account. Now, second one, you need to log into your account. So, you need to go to cstc.edu.ph slash LMS, read the page content on how to manage your LMS account. Marami kaming guidelines, content regarding your LMS account. So, after reading that, you need to click student portal link. So, that is step 2. Now, <coughs> Once logged in, we want you to update your LMS profile. So, we encourage you to add strong password para sa security ng inyong LMS account. Remember that, that yung account ninyo ay para sa iyo lang, hindi yan binibigay sa girlfriend o boyfriend. So, that's a big no-no at pag nalaman na ibang gumagamit ng account. So, we have... <coughs> e-learning code of conduct regarding those things. So, use a strong password, update profile information. So, meron kayong profile picture doon. So, pwede nyo palitan para mas madali kayong makilala ng mga professors. Update your address, your birth date, your uh, everything na pwedeng palitan sa inyong LMS. Okay? So, update your information profile information. Now, we also encourage you to add your email for account recovery. So, madalas ang tanong sa amin or ang inquiry sa amin sa LMS office ay Sir, nalimutan po yung password. Paano ba ito ma-recover? So, meron tayong process niyan. Pero, basically, para mas safe kayo in case malimutan yung password, Add nyo lang sa profile ninyong email ninyo and you can reset your password using your email. So, hindi na kayo pupunta sa LMS o magtatanong pa sa uh, uh, inyong mga professors how to <coughs> recover your account. So, again, these are the things that you need to do kapag nakalagi na kayo. Now, the third thing is to enroll in a class using access code. So, ang access code ay makukuha ninyo naman sa inyong mga professors. You can enroll directly in a class by clicking the enroll option from the dashboard and then entering the access code provided by your professor. So, yung inyong mga enrolled subjects na makikita nyo sa inyong registration form, pwede nyo nang i-enroll sa LMS. So, at para ma-enroll nyo, you have to communicate with your professor kung anong access code ng mga subject ninyo. So, <clears throat> for example, this is an access code ng using LMS for students. At kung this is your first time na gumamit ng LMS, pwede nyo i-enroll ang access code na to, ang class na using LMS for students, This is an onboarding class para matututo kayo rito mag-take ng exam, mag-upload ng assignment, mag-change ng profile, and so on. So, this is a good for getting started sa ating LMS. So, again, kung bago ko sa inyo ang ating learning management system o ngayon pa lang kayo magtatry nito, I want you to take note of this access code. Now, this is the csdc.edu.ph slash LMS page. Read on to this page. Maraming mahalagang bagay dito na pwede nyong basahin. For example, this LMS account recovery, the student guide. You can download the PDF guide or privacy policy. Frequently asked questions. You can also use this chat tool. So, to chat us, we also have set up, we have set up chat boot sa mga tanong. Baka you might have questions na patungkol sa LMS natin na kayang sagutin dito. 
So after that, after reading this page, so click this link, student portal, or this one, and you'll be directed to our LMS homepage. So login page, click login. You can also go back to our website. You can view the campus cal calendar. Kahit hindi pa kayo nagla-login, the login instructions, and we will have privacy policy here, terms and conditions, and other policies ng school. We also have the Facebook link sa ating Facebook page. So, log in. Enter your student or your user ID. So, this is just a dummy account, just like what I've said, you can get your account information to your department head. So, kukunin nyo sa kanila yon. So, user ID and the password. And then, click login. Now, this is your dashboard. So, I'll explain every component that you can find here. We have the left pane for the main menu. So, meron siyang home catalog, users, and shortcut to our school website. We also have the widget on the right side. So, meron tayong to-do widget, announcement, and calendar. This is your main content or the dashboard. We have the news tab where we post news and several things, advisories, announcement, and so on. So, we also have the welcome tab. <clears throat> Going back to our dashboard, we have the header. So you can click these buttons here. So if you have questions for your account recovery, if you want some help regarding enrolling in your class, so you can find things, useful things here. So next. Since this is a new account, so wala pang enrolled class, katulad ng nabanggit ko kanina, all you have to do is to click this one, this menu, and click enroll. So, and again, you need an access code to enroll in a class. So, yung mga access code ay makukuha ninyo sa inyong mga professors. So, in this setting, wala pa itong in this profile, wala pa itong enrolled class. Okay? So, now, <clears throat> we have several tabs here. So, catalog, groups, news, and so on. So, now, going to the main menu, catalog. So, dito nyo makikita lahat ng available class para sa mga CST siyan. So, meron silang categories that you can find. So, for example, sa math, merong 40 classes and so on. So, you can also use this search. For example, hahanapin ko yung aking subject na IT 104. So, then, this one, IT 104. So, you can, you can read overview of this class na gawa ni Prof. George, so these are the lessons. And to enroll, again, you'll be needing an access code. So, makukuha ito sa kanya. You can message your professor regarding the access code. Okay? So, users. Now, this, meron tayong parang social media feature ang ating LMS, you can add friends, you can have circles, mga kaibigan mo sa ating LMS, you can, you, you can add friends, even your professors. So, that's the main menu. Now, the top navigation pane, this one, the top navigation, we have the inbox, your inbox, so, sa LMS natin, pwede kang mag-message sa iyong professor sa mga kaklase mo. You can shoot a message to them if you have question. You have the notification icon. We have the calendar. 
So, the calendar, it, it, this can be your personal calendar. So, you can have, you, you can have two calendars dito. So, ito yung personal calendar mo at saka sa school. So, from time to time, we are posting events, campus events here. So, do watch out for that. Or, again, if you want, you can add your own personal events regarding your learning activities sa ating LMS. So, this might be useful kung kayo ay ma-organize sa inyong pag-aaral. One thing na kagamit-gamit rin is this, the help button. So, you can find within our LMS, you can find several help topics here sa online help. So, Marami kayo, paano ba mag-add ng friends, paano ba gumamit ng mga apps, yung account type ninyo, password, so on. So, you have the online help, help for this page. You can also submit tickets sa student help desk. So, pwede kayong mag-type ng tanong ninyo or anything na gusto nyong malaman regarding the learning management system. So, what else? So, we want you to read on this. Maraming ito. If you are, if this is your first time using learning management system, this section will be useful sa inyo. So, next, you can search your things kapag meron na kayong klase, nakapag- Upload na kayo ng mga resources. So, you can search here. And this one, this is your profile. So, you can click on this. And then, this is your public profile. You can edit the cover. You can edit your profile picture. So, we have rules. We have guidelines kung anong mga pwedeng ilagay gamitin as your profile picture here. So, you can, again, we... we encourage you the first thing you need to do is to edit your profile information so go here sa info at lagyan nyo lahat ng pwedeng ilaman especially this email so in case malimutan niyo yung password ninyo so you, you can recover your account using your email address so fill up this one So, again, on this edit button, you can edit your picture, your about, description, password, social media links, and info. <coughs> so, going back to our dashboard. <coughs> now, this menu, drop-down menu, you can find this dark mode. So, bago lang ito. So, gumagamit kayo ng laptop, makakasave kayo ng battery at hindi medyo depende sa inyong preference, ma maganda rin tingnan ito, hindi, lalo na gabi kayo nagbabasa, you can toggle the dark mode. So, and everything will be presented in a dark theme. So, and you have the help and the log out button. So, again, this is our learning management system. I do hope na marami kayo magamit niyo ang tool na to sa inyong online learning and this is a useful tool sana lagi ninyong gamitin at from time to time ay bisitahin itong inyong learning management account thank you very much if you have questions pa yung mga links na babanggitin ko so you, you can ask me questions regarding your learning management system account. Thank you very much. And if you're joining synchronous session sa inyong professor, so mag-meet kayo virtually. So we are advising you to do a speed test. So, i-check muna natin yung ating internet connection using just Google Speed Test and Run Speed Test. So, ang minimum na speed natin 
for virtual classes. Ay, kailangan mabot man lang kayo ng 10 Mbps if you're doing virtual meetings. So, regularly check, regularly check your internet connection. The next thing, if you still have problems sa paggamit ng system natin, whether nahirapan kayo mag-upload ng assignment, nang mag-take ng exam, mag-sagot sa LMS, ang LMS office ay bukas sa every 9 to 3 p.m. Meron kaming link na available para tawagan ninyo via Google Meet. So, at lagi kaming handang sumagot sa anumang tanong o anumang mga kailangan ninyo regarding sa paggamit ng inyong LMS account. So, again, <coughs> that link will be posted sa loob mismo ng inyong LMS. So, and we also have several things na available para sa inyo tulad ng pinakita ko kanina, yung chat, yung help desk. So, kung hindi na time o beyond 3 p.m. na at wala na kami, hindi na available yung link, just read on sa mga available resources sa ating LMS. Now, we value your privacy. So, kaya merong password yung inyong mga account. So, dahil meron tayong Data Privacy Act of 2012, lahat ng content na nasa LMS ay merong code, merong password, at hindi basta-basta pinapamigay, ginagamit lang natin yan to assess, to evaluate students, at para maintindihan nyo how we process data or your information, you can read our privacy policy ng school on several things like how we process data, how we destroy your data, so on. So again, we value your privacy. Uh, I am Mr. Reyes, and together with Ma'am K. Mendoza, we are the system administrators. If you have questions, you can shoot us a message sa Facebook, sa website natin, and we'll be happy to assist you sa mga bagay na makakaya namin regarding your LMS. <clears throat> so, lastly, we are CSTians, we're ready, we're resilient, we're hoping that this school year ay mas may improve last, last school year. Natikman na natin yung ating online. So ngayon, we've done several adjustments and we're ready for this. And hopefully, marami kayong matutunan. Everything is laid out. So ready, ready na para sa inyo. So we want you to do your part. Ready your gadgets, ready your devices, ready your connection, your account. So this <clears throat> this is a partnership. We, the school is trying. We'll try, we we are doing our best, and hopefully, so bagamat magkalayo tayo, I do your part. Okay. So again, CSTC, we are ready. We are resilient. We are CSTian. And learning never stops. Good day. God bless everyone. Stay safe and thank you very much.